nazalna alaykal kitab tibyanan li kulli shay and we have sent down this book on thee o muhammad sallallahu ta'ala alayhi wa sallam that this book might explain all things the the bible also does the same thing the gospel also does the same thing the quran does it but the quran says that this book is pre- divinely protected washington could try what they want they cannot change this book <laughs> and so there is only one 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 text of the quran existing in the whole world today no two texts no three only one that's proof that is proof that after 1400 years of history since the quran was revealed we still have only one solitary text all all people have all copies of the quran one solitary text. There, evidence already there so then what is the explanation that the quran gives of a war which will destroy towns and cities so many of them yes there is a statement in the quran in surah al-isra and this is what allah says he says and when you want to say allah said something allah didn't speak english no he didn't speak french and when jesus comes back i don't think he'll speak english eh? i don't think he'll speak french eh? when jesus come back there's no need for him to speak english is the english speaking world so important <laughs> good wa im min qaryatin illa nahnu muhlikuha qabla yawm al qiyama aw mu'adhibuha adhaban shadida kana dhalika fi al kitab mastura and there is not a single town and city that will escape but they will all be destroyed and those which escape destruction will be punished with terrible punishment and this is inscribed in the book if you adopt if you approach the verse as a schoolboy you will say well then that's the end of the world because every town and every city will be destroyed that's what the verse is saying <laughs> but if you approach the verse as a scholar and you go to the totality of the quran you know that allah will not destroy a city which does not deserve to be destroyed it will be unjust so now we have to modify and say no, no 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 town and no city which deserves to be destroyed will escape in this war which is coming so this is not a random war <laughs> This is the war in which the Lord God will destroy every town and every city which ought to be destroyed. That's our first conclusion from Islamic eschatology. This is not a random war. This is a very important war. And Allah is going to be involved in this war. that is surah al isra which are those towns and cities which ought to be destroyed answer the first and the first the most obvious answer is that allah destroyed sodom and gomorra for their homosexuality and when he destroyed them he destroyed them so that they sunk to the lowest part of the earth there's no part of the earth lower than that this is called the dead sea and he destroyed them and said i leave this as a sign for you that's in the quran that if you return to this homosexuality i will return with my destruction so when you see the law in the land declares that a man can marry another man and get a marriage certificate you know you know that that 
is a city which is doomed for destruction. Doomed for destruction. And who are those who are now making legislation that a man can marry another man and get a marriage certificate? They are Christians. Yeah. America is a Christian country, British is, Britain is a Christian country, France is a... This is Christianity of this side, the Western side. And they're putting pressure on us. If you don't enact the legislation, you're not going to get aid from the World Bank, you're not going to get money from the IMF, we're going to do this to you, we're going to do that for you. You have to make the legislation. And they started with, you know what? the age at which a girl can be married and now the whole world has agreed with them and there's legislation all over the world that if you are 17 years of age haram you cannot get married so for the first time in human history we know that all of human history that came before were all donkeys and the only sensible people are those who are now living today because for thousands of years, a 17-year-old girl could get married. Even the prophets of Allah will perform the marriage ceremony. But now the new, the new religion in this most enlightened age says, no, prohibited. She has to be 18. Well, wait. Those of you who support that legislation, wait for the day when you have to stand before Allah let's yes, wait for that day we have nothing more to say so tomorrow they're going to force you to have legislation in your country that a man can marry a man and get a marriage certificate but what about the other Christian world there are two Christian worlds yeah there's one Christian world which celebrates Christmas on the 25th of December. But there's another Christian world which does not do that. This one follows the Gregorian calendar. And that one follows, I think it's called the Julian calendar. And so Christmas for them is on the 7th of January. Is that correct? This one over here says a man can marry another man and get a marriage certificate. That one says not in a thousand years. Get lost. So they're not the same. The two Christian worlds, they're not the same. Which one will be destroyed by Allah? Answer. The one which returns to what was done before and Allah destroyed Sodom and Gomorrah he will destroy you again. Will he destroy those? They don't deserve to be destroyed. They say not in a thousand years will we ever agree to a man marrying another man and get in a marriage certificate. No. So it appears to me as though Allah will protect them in this war. and these will be destroyed which is why I don't want this video to go on the internet I don't want them to know <laughs> I don't want them to know what we know <laughs>